I just want to uh, introduce myself and a little bit about what Mozilla does. Probably uh, most of you are familiar, but we, uh, it's good to talk about the things that Mozilla is doing kind of in the context of the history of the internet. And this is one of my favorite uh, charts that shows the growth of the number of users on the internet. Uh, a lot of the statistics that talk about market share and percentage loses the context of how the internet has grown and, and some of the things that have been important in its growth. Um, okay, um, this, this area right here shows the number of users that use the Netscape browser. Um, this, is, this is when I started working on browsers long, long ago, 1998. But you can see how small the internet uh, was how, in terms of number of users uh, back in the Netscape days. Very, very small comparison to where we are now. Um, and you know, after Netscape, uh, Microsoft, this, air, this blue area, became to dominate the browser market. And eventually they, they had 98% market share and a monopoly on the browsers. So, so the first definition that we had at Mozilla around the open web was around to restore competition and innovation to, the, to, to browsers and the internet. And this, this small little uh, area here is, is the start of the growth of Firefox. This orange area is, uh, is the number, represents the number of Firefox users on the internet. And so just a small number of people, there were only 10 of us that started the Mozilla Foundation in 2003. And, uh, and, a, and a community of people, uh, volunteers that, uh, work, that helped uh, these, this small group. We were able to turn back Microsoft and turn back the monopoly and create competition in browsers again. And, and partly it was because Microsoft uh, gave up on browsers. They saw no value in investing and in, in innovating with the browsers. But, but now we've, we've restored competition and there, there's many different kinds of browsers, uh, Safari, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer is now being updated. And so we've restored this competition into the browser market. So for that first definition of the open web, we've been very successful. We've restored this competition. We need to create new definitions of, of what the open web means now that we've, we've restored this competition. And uh, partly this new definition comes from different ways that we use the internet now as compared to 1998. Uh, in, in 1998, people mostly just consumed information from the internet. There wasn't much interaction. You just viewed uh, web content. And now there's much more interaction. You, 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 you do more things online. You interact with websites. Uh, you interact with government websites, you interact with learning websites, you use social networks, and you're, you're exchanging uh, information and you're creating information. Uh, uh, individuals all over the world are participating in this. And so one of the things that we're trying to do on the project now is to make sure that Firefox uh, is, is, uh, acts on your behalf to protect your privacy, to protect your security. Um, and uh, that's not always the aligned with things that uh, Apple and Safari and Microsoft are trying to do. Uh, they're trying to create business models around use gathering your personal information and being able to, to, to monetize it. And so one of the things that we're trying to do now is, is to preserve that user control over how people use their browsers and use the internet. And so that's uh, a new definition of preserving the open web that we're working on. The other thing that's very important is to allow people all over the world to participate in the development of Firefox and have impact in, in what we do. And we have people that help in testing uh, the new versions of Firefox. 10,000 people are, are, t are helping to test the uh, uh, the development builds that we produce every day with new changes from the engineers. We have a support site uh, that about a million people every week visit to get help with using the browser. And it's volunteers that, that, that help these people that are, that are looking for information. Uh, we, we have up to 8 million people who have helped test uh, new, new versions of Firefox. As we, and we have about 400 million people now using Firefox around the world. And Firefox is translated into 
uh, over 80, 86 different languages. Uh, and all of the localizations, all of the translations of Firefox are done by volunteers like uh, Guillermo and Marcelo, who, who translate the uh, version of Firefox into Argentinian Spanish. In, in Argentina, or Argentina alone, there are about 1.8 million Firefox users online every day. And we really don't have a marketing budget or do advertising or promotion to get new users. It's, it's just people like you who tell their friends about Firefox or build devices that have Firefox on them and are sharing Firefox with others. And it's, it's the growth of Firefox that helps us to uh, increase our influence on the direction of the web. Uh, yeah, it's very interesting, the idea of a government uh, creating a program uh, that all st students can participate in uh, is, is kind of revolutionary. Um, in the United States, uh, we have computers in you know, high schools uh, with each, each student receiving uh, the computer, but it's only at the school level or the local government level. Um, and it's very powerful for Argentina to have a program that's across the entire country. Um, yeah, the, the, you know, Mozilla is, a, is about promoting choice. And so the idea of, of having two operating systems in some ways you know, aligns very closely with this idea of, of providing choice to students. Uh, I think it's important for teachers and the administrators of the program to also uh, uh, make sure that students understand the ability, their ability to, to, to hack and to um, uh, to be able to uh, change the Linux operating system that gets distributed and, and be able to uh, experiment with it, uh, understand it, take it apart, uh, make changes to it. Uh, and that's different than, than Windows, uh, uh, which is just there for them to use. And so I would hope that uh, as part of the program that we're encouraging students to uh, learn about the details of Linux, to try it out, to provide instructions about how they can, they can, uh, they can, they can make changes and have impact in, in, uh, for the Linux and for Firefox. Thank you.